how to we install with two sites that is multi restaurant online WhatsApp food ordering system scripts. So I will be using code list for this testing purpose. So let me just go straight to my code list.cc. I open a new tab, then I click on code list.cc, then enter. Then next, I click on the search button to search for the name I'm looking for, which is Ristos. Here is it. Then enter. Don't forget, I'm using this for testing purpose. Okay, here is the script I'm looking for. Then I click on it. And then next, I scroll down to select one of the links to download the script. But don't forget, I'm using this for testing purpose. Let me select. Let me select this. Control copy, then I open a new tab, then paste it there. Enter. Yes, I click on download, but I have already downloaded the script. So I don't need to download again. Let me just close this and go to my download on my system. Here is it. After I downloaded it, I extract it. Here is the extracted file. Then let me open it. Open it. So this is the one I'm going to send to my Z my C panel. So let me go straight to my C panel. Okay. Here is my C panel. Then next I go to file manager. File manager. Here is the file manager. Then I go to my subdomain I want to use. The subdomain I want to use is called test tag. Here is it. As you can see, I have already uploaded the script, which is this one, project, and it's a zip file, as you can see. Then next, I'm going to extract this. Extract. Extract files. Then I close it. Let me see. Let's uh, Okay. In this script, next I'm going to create my database. Let me go to my database. I'm going to get my database. Let me go to, go to my database. Okay. I click on this. The name is Testal. Create database. Next, I get, click on go back. I have got the database. Next, I'm going to get the user. Let me name it as this. Great user. After I've created the user, then next I'm going to add the user to the database. Add user to database. I will make sure I select the one I just created. Install user. Install yes. Add. Then I give up privileges. Then move down to make changes. Yes, I have successfully created my database and my uploaded my script to my file manager. Next, I'm going to for this type of script, I'm going to upload my SQL. So let me go to my PHP PHP add my admin PHP my admin. Okay, here is it. I then select the name of the database, which is this. 
I upload, I import the SQL. So I click on choose file. This is my SQL. And open. So next, I import. So import has been successfully finished. After importing, I will go back to my uh, here is it then to my EMV I edit edit I will now go to my DB name my DB database db database i'm going to the database i created first time here is it Okay, that is control this. Then I make changes. I can now close this. Now, what next is for me now to go to my site, test uh, enter. So, I have successfully installed my my script. So I can just rise in just to roam about it. Let me go. Features. So thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. If this video is helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. Please like, share, and subscribe, and use link in the description to buy me coffee. Thank you.